Your motion at the full time whistle. Uh, angry that we've we've allowed that type of goal to um, decide the cup tie. Um, you know, I think the first half we, we were perhaps with a better team. You know, I think the the movement at the top end of the pitch put us a wee bit. Um, Vargas and Shankland I thought were, were, were good at linking play and causing a threat. Um, we are hoping to get into half time, but um, um, without losing a goal, you'd have to say that's when the percentage of play, I thought we you know, probably um, deserved to go in front. Half time came at a good time for us. We we spoke about how the fact that at the minute we're just going out, at the minute we're going out the cup with a limper really, and we just sort of change that. We made a couple of changes tactically. We put Kennedy closer to the cell. We stopped him building the play. We um, really aggressive with him at the top end of the pitch. And I thought we had hearts where we wanted them, to be honest. We were in charge of that tie second half. We um, I think we had four or five shots in the first five minutes of the second half and it set the tone. And we just needed to make sure we had the composure and the quality to get one of those opportunities um, back in the game. And obviously Brad comes up with a big moment. Um, have some good quality they can bring to the bench. We, we boy Lowry and Boyce, you know, two players are given time and space, so you're always aware of that. But, um, but I thought by and large we had the game, we had hearts where we wanted them. Mm. We were guilty in the last minute, and I spoke to the players there, when we take the free kick, um, halfway up the our half from Will Dennis, and we hit a diagonal ball, what you do then when you open up the pitch, you, you do leave yourself more susceptible to a counter-attack. And what we do and what we should be doing, I was screaming on for a straighter ball there, um, is play percentage. We we almost played that last phase of play as if we needed a goal to get back in the tie. And we were guilty of trying to win it then. It was almost a bit too excitable, too gung ho to win a game of football in 90 minutes when we should be playing the extra time now and trying to win the game in extra time because I, I do feel that we were in charge of the game. I thought we had hearts where we wanted them. And as I say, when you, the players that come on, you're never ever comfortable because Hearts are good, good, good players. Um, but we opened the pitch up, and the ball falls to Brad Lyons from, from the free kick. Um, he kind of quite sort his feet out, but it comes to Ndaba. Ndaba doesn't even have a pass on the outside of him because we're all over this side of the pitch. Um, and then we become three on three, two on two. They get a bit of fortune. Boyce scuffs his first shot, and then Ricochet kind of backed him. Um, but it was all last gasp and unnecessary. It was almost as if we were chasing a game to win it in 90 minutes. But we didn't need it. We really didn't need it. We, we, we could have won that and should have won that uh, in extra time. And we allowed the opportunity for Hearts and they took it. And it's, we're guilty of that. We're no guilty of the, the effort, performance level second half. Our players, my, every one of my players second half were terrific. We grabbed the cup tie. We played the cup tie the way it should have been played. And we we were in a good place in that moment, but we've got to recognise that we were guilty of naivety and bad decision making there instead of just playing percentages, playing smart, and winning, try to win the game in uh, extra time. Do you how the tie was going? That your side had the advantage fitness wise going into extra time. Take it that way. I don't know about fitness wise. We still had a lot of changes to make. You know, we had freshness to make. I was really pleased with the performance. Obviously, when Hearts. Um, we, we had a stranglehold of the game and then Hearts made a change, they went to a five um, in a front two with Vargas and, and Shankland. We then changed and put Dabo in um, to match up really against on that. He's more of a wing back than Robbie Dees. Um, but we still got McGuinness in those little holes with Kennedy and Vassell running centre backs down the, down the sides of them. I thought we were good in the game second half. I really enjoyed watching us and I love the spirit of my team. I loved how the crowd got in here. And, you know, I felt there was a winning goal in us. We just, the winning goal didn't need to come in. Of course we all want to win it in 90 minutes. And you want to win it in 90 minutes so you can get eight, but <laughs> extra time, it's a cup tie. It's about winning or losing. And we we were we were just guilty of being too excitable in that last part of the game. And and it's bit us. And it's, um, we, it's not just about being a good footballer in those moments. It's not just about being a good football that wins type, these types of games, it's about good decision making and being smart. And unfortunately for us, we've, uh, we've played a part in that second goal. Right.